This video is from the Retro Liberty Archives with new edits and live shots. Ah, Demon's Crest, a video game as you may know, I have struggled to find for a very long time until now. Hey, Ricky, can I borrow Demon's Crest? No. Okay. I borrowed Ricky's. Demon's Crest, or in Japan, known as Demonzu Berry and Makaruma Masi no Henzok. Okay is a side-scrolling slash platforming slash flying slash demon loving-ish video game developed by Capcom for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System that was released in 1994. This is actually the third game in the Ghost and Goblin series, with that being first, then Gargoyle's Quest on the Game Boy, and now this one. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. The story for the game revolves around the crests, six magical stones which preside over their respective elements, fire, earth, water, air, time, and heaven. When all of the crests are combined, the crest of infinity will appear, allowing its holder to infinite power and infinite super abilities. Doesn't that kind of sound like a cartoon I've seen as a kid? No, I guess not. As the game begins, Phalanx already began using the crest to become the ruler of the demon realm, while Firebrand, which is who you are playing as, is imprisoned in an amphitheater and made to fight the zombified demon dragon. After Firebrand wins, you escape victoriously. You set out to regain the crest and get revenge on that meany weeny Phalanx. I really love the story here in Demon's Crest for a Super Nintendo game. This was beyond dark. The atmosphere is heavy, but not even in a Super Metroid sense, but in a much deeper sense of evil and viciousness. The gameplay here in Demon's Crest is a mix of your standard platforming, but with some mild RPG elements. The stages are divided into six main areas and can be played multiple times. More often than not, you will have to revisit a level with new crests in order to access new areas, items, and bosses that could not be accessed before. As far as your abilities go for your character, well, as they say in France, your powers are muy bueno. Oui, oui. You have Fire Breath, obviously. Well, his name is Fire Breath. Claws for clinging onto and climbing walls, and wings to fly like an eagle as you collect crests. You can transform and gain new powers that are specified for specific combat and exploration. Hello? I'm still recording! Such as Ground, Gargoyle, Aerial, Tidal, Legend, wait for it. Okay, that joke's over. Legendary and ultimate. Other items to collect include extra hit points, flasks, and spell volumes for using consumable magic items and talismans that can even more improve your powers. As far as how the gameplay goes for Demon's Crest, I would say it's right on par with many other Super Nintendo 16-bit platformers for its time, and that's a really big compliment. The only complaint I have about the game is the lack of enemies and repetitive music. The music does kind of drag on and it does kind of sound the same throughout some of the levels, but otherwise, Demon's Crest is nothing but a good time. I should probably mention how the end of the game goes. I mean, this is a review. I didn't beat it, so uh, I, I don't know. Here's my guess to how the game ended. You get to the final boss, and the Call of Duty Ghost Guy comes out, and pew, 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 and, and then there's a giant laser cat that destroys the world. And Mega Man is presented in a new Capcom game called Mighty Number no. 10. One point alpha heist. Point two. So overall, Demon's Crest on the Super Nintendo is a great 16-bit platformer. It is a game that I hold in pretty high regards when it comes to platformers. Now, I wouldn't recommend paying retail for the game at that price. I would say it's not worth it. But if you can get it for a good deal or if you have to emulate it, Demon's Crest on the Super Nintendo, do it, get your hands on it and pray to the lords of blood you are not cursed for playing the game. Have a good one, you guys. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya.